solve mm -hmm. one problem on finding even and odd parts of the continuous time signal which is given in this question this question is asked in the university question paper in july 2016 to find the even part of the signal we know that from that is x of t is equal to so x e of t e even part of the signal is denoted as x e of t is equal to x of t plus x of minus t whole divided by 2. Here to get the even part of this signal, we need x of minus t. What is x of minus t? Where x of minus t is the time reversal of this signal or reflection of this given signal. To write the x of minus t, what we should do here is, what is there in the left hand side of this given x of t signal, write it to the right hand side. What is there in the right hand side, that we put it in the left hand side that is we can write the x of minus t of the x of t has that is okay, signal which is existing from 0 to 2 that can be written has 0 to my that can be written in the 0 to minus 2 range zero to minus 1 plus minus 2 0 to this 1 then what is there in the range of 0 to minus 1 that you put it in the 0 to plus 1 range. That is, this is the x of minus t. This is t. This is the x of minus t. Now, this x of minus t should be added with the x of t and then amplitude should be divided by 2 to get the even part of the signal. To add these two signals, that is, start from the left hand side always will start from minus infinity and set plus infinity x of minus t exists from minus 2 and set plus 1 whereas x of t exists from minus 1 and set plus 2 and starting from minus 2 here because less than minus 2 both the signal does not exist we cannot add that is let us go interval by interval minus 2 to minus 1 only this signal exists the first signal does not exist minus 2 to minus 1 the value of this signal is minus 1 so we'll draw that signal that is minus 2 to minus 1 only the first signal exists okay that is sorry, this x of minus t exists next minus 1 to 0 you check it minus 1 to 0 this signal value is 1 whereas this signal is an increasing line that is starting from 0 ending at when, when, when t is minus 1 its value is 0 and t reaches to 0 its value becomes 1 that means this is a constant is added with this line you will get that is first at minus 1 its value is 1 minus 1 to 0 this signal become that is 1 is added with this line you will get a graph like this okay finally at 0 this is also 1 this is also 1 it reaches to 2 then go for next interval that is 0 to 1 0 to 1 the signal value is 1 this is a decreasing line it reaches to 0 when t is 1 then what happens here is this one is added with this that is suppose if you take any point in this 0 to 1 interval suppose if it is 0.1 t is equal to 0.1 this is 0.9 that is constant 1 1 plus 0.9 will become 1.9 that is less than 2 that means it reaches to the when you reach the value time time value 1 this is this is become 0 this is still it is 1 it reaches to the 1 part then exactly at 1 what happens here is at 1 this is 0 but this is going to the minus 1 this is the minus 1 that's why it reaches to the minus 1 value okay then 1 to 2 this signal does not exist only the x of t signal exists 1 to 2 its value is minus 1 and then at 2 it reaches to the 0 you get this signal this is what 1 this is, this is the x of t plus x of minus t added the these two signals to get an even component of this signal 
x of t plus x of minus t sum of these two should be divided by 2 that means amplitude will become half of the what is what you got in the x of t plus x of minus t that means you can write the e1 component of that signal it is same signal you get only thing the amplitude is divided by 2 This is t, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this amplitude is minus 1, 1 divided by 2, it will become 1 by 2, this is 1 by 2, this is 2 by 1, 2 by 2 is it will become 1, this is the E1 component of the E1 signal, minus 1, minus 2, okay, similarly to get odd component of this signal, that is formula for to get odd component of this signal is x o of t odd component is denoted by x o of t is equal to x of t minus x of minus t whole divided by 2 small modification i will do with this formula here that is x of t plus minus of x of minus t whole divided by 2 because plus into minus is it will become minus why i am doing this here is since we are familiar with the addition of the signals, we can first we can write the minus of x of minus t, then we can add that with the x of t to the solution here. Okay, but to write the minus of x of minus t, already x of minus t is written here just to reverse this amplitude here. Positive amplitude will become negative amplitude, and negative amplitude will become positive amplitude. That is, minus of x of minus t can be written as minus of x of minus t this is t minus 2 to minus 1 x of minus t is minus 1 that will be plus 1 minus 1 minus 2 this is 1 This is minus of x of minus t. This should be added with the x of t signal. To add these two signals, what you have here is that is. We have x of t is, you can write that what is x of t here. This is the x of t and minus of x of minus t is we have written that this is t, this is 0, this is 1, this is minus 1, this is minus 2, this value is 1, this value is minus 1, this is the minus of x of minus t. Now to get an odd component of the signal, we should add these two now. To add this, let's start from negative side, that is less than minus 2, both the signal does not exist. Minus 2 to minus 1, only this signal exists, that its value is plus 1, that is minus 2 to minus 1. Minus 1 to 0, what is happening here exactly? Minus 1 to 0, this is minus 1 value. This is the increasing line. Minus 1 is added with all these positive values. At 0, this becomes 1. Still, this is minus 1. It reaches to the 0 at this point. At 0, this value is minus 1. This value is plus 1. It answer will become 0. Okay. Next, 0 to 1. 
0 to 1, this is constant 1, it is added with the negative values, 1 plus 0.9 is, here it is 0.9, it will become 0.1, here it is midpoint if we take it, it is the 0.5, sorry, minus 0.5, minus 0.5 plus constant 1 is plus 0.5 when it reaches to 1 this value is 0 this value is still 1 that is it becomes the that is 1 here if it reaches to the maximum value at 1 is that is 1 okay next 1 to 2 this is at 1 it comes to the minus 1, still this is 0, that is it comes to the minus 1. 1 to 2, this signal does not exist. This is 1 to 2, this value is 0. 1 to 2 have a negative pulse here, that is minus 1. We get the same signal, that is 1 to 2. This is the odd component of the signal. Still amplitude is not divided by 2. To get the odd component, x of t plus minus of x of minus t should be divided by 2 amplitude is it will become maximum amplitude here it is 1 it will become 1 by 2 here it is minus 1 it will become minus 1 by 2 okay this is the odd component of the signal this completes the problem thank you